What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the importance of talking about tough issues. Um, I think that often, you know, as a society we don't like to touch um, a lot of tough issues like mental health, suicide, because they're tough, right? They're tough to talk about. Uh, they're emotional. You have to be vulnerable. Uh, however, um, no matter how tough they are, I think it's important to continue to talk about them. Uh, because, you know, not talking about something doesn't mean the problem goes away. Uh, it just means you're not addressing it, right? And, you know, the issue with mental health is clear. Uh, for 10 to 34 year olds, it's the second leading cause of death in the U.S. And for 35 to 55 year olds, it's the fourth leading cause of death, according to the CDC. Um, <clears throat> you know, if we want to change the narrative, we have to be more comfortable uh, talking about these issues, you know, not judging people who come out with them, um, providing more education and tools to cope, uh, and providing safe spaces to talk about it. Um, otherwise, the stats will continue. We'll continue to lose people. And, you know, the worst part of that fact is these are preventable deaths. I mean, we as a society are failing when we have people who view their life as not worth it. We're failing as a society. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, my question is, I mean, how many deaths is it going to take for us to be passionate about it? You know? Um... You know, I first lost someone I knew in 2016 to suicide, and then again in 2019 I lost someone, and then again in 2020 I lost someone. And the response is always the same. We mourn the death. Uh, we pray for the family and friends who were are, who are close. You know... And then we move on with our life. <clears throat> if we continue that response, if we do not make any changes, if we don't create more dialogue, we're going to continue to lose people. And, you know, I'm not asking you to be as vocal as I am, right? I know we all have different means and different comfort levels, especially speaking out publicly. But we all have means within our own communities. However much that you can give, give it. You know, even if it's just you have... Three best friends, talk to them. When you catch up on the phone with them once a month, talk to them about, how's your mental health doing? You know? Um, you know, I know this was a little bit of a heavier topic and sort of a call to action, but I, I hope that I inspire you to incorporate mental health talk. Uh, within your own life. Thank you guys.